JVC just released their firmware 3.0. Follow me. After releasing firmware 2.0 last year, once again, JVC released a new firmware that will further their dynamic tone mapping to even a higher standards, which to my eyes, perform as well as a matte VR. So let's start by putting the firmware to a USB key. Obviously, you need to download the firmware update before you can put it on a USB key. You have to prep your USB key by formatting the USB key in FAT32. I tried FAT16 NTFS, they don't work, so it has to be FAT32. As for the file itself, you download it from JVC's website as a zip file. Unzip it and you will see a folder UD underscore B541. Click and copy it and bring the entire folder to your USB key. Make sure all the files and the folder itself are there. Now let's go to the projector. So before we start doing the firmware update, make sure your projector is turned off and plug in your USB here. You know, the one and only USB port on the projector. Then grab your projector remote and turn on the projector. When the projector is on, then press the menu button on your remote. You will then see the menu shown on the screen. Then go to the fifth page on the menu. Scroll down to software update and press enter. And you will see this on the screen. Your version will indicate version 3.0. Scroll the cursor to yes and press enter or okay, same thing. The projector then will automatically turn itself off and reboot it and you will see blinking LED on your projectors such as this. And after about one hour later, the projector turns itself off. So grab your remote and press the power button. Wait until the red light turns on and press the power button again. The projector will then power up. And when the DLA logo is gone, press the menu button. Go to the letter I on the top right corner of the menu, and in your case, it will save software version 3.0. So that's it, you're done. Featured in this firmware update is the laser diode power, which is rather than the original low, mid, high, you will find zero to 100, which zero means 50% of laser diode power. This way you will have 100 steps between 50% power to 100% power. Also another welcome feature, you can now store your projector settings to your USB key. Just go to the fourth page on the menu system, scroll down to backup settings, press okay. And over here you have the option to export settings to your USB or import settings from your USB. So what do I think about this firmware update? Contrary to some postings on the internet stating that the firmware update is underwhelming because it does not make the projector looks brighter, well, that's completely missing the point. The reasoning behind this firmware update is to enhance the frame adapt HDR capability to the nth degree. And for that, JVC is very successful. And now I want to show you a couple of images at 6x magnification. In these two images, you can see that the clipped highlight on the first picture have been improved by the new firmware. It is somewhat subtle, but the improvement is there. And it is very noticeable. And as for shadow details, the areas that are just above absolute black that used to be crushed, you can see more details. Again, this is the before, and this is after. Again, this is subtle, but it's easily noticeable. So we are at the end of the tutorial. Please share your thoughts in the comments down below and please don't forget to click like, share and subscribe to my channel. So the next time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.